What is up guys? So today I wanted to do a guide on the Fathom Dweller mount. Um, it's very easy to do this. Um, you will have to collect a weathered relic. Once you get the weathered relic, you will have to activate 10 orbs, which sounds like a lot of work, but it's really not. These 10 orbs are scattered throughout the Broken Isle, but thankfully I know where they all are. A few things that will make this a little bit easier. Um, if you have a strider mount, um, you're going to use it a lot because you're going to be like Jesus walking across a lot of water. The next thing you will need is a couple glider kits because some of the locations you will have to glide in. Um, and that's the only way to get to them. Uh, with that being said, let's dive right into it. Alright, so here we are in Delarian at the flight path. Now you're going to want to use your glider or goblin glider kit to glide down. As you can see, I use my Emerald Winds toy. You don't have to use it. It does help a little bit though. If you don't have the Emerald toy, I will leave a link in the description below so you can go ahead and get that. Um, but anyway, like I said, you don't really need it. We're going to glide in, as you can see here. And it really does help, like I said, to have this add-on because it will show you the locations on the map. Um, again, watch the video through because the orb locations are very, very hard to find unless you know where you're looking. Also, um, as you can see, we're gliding in. Now, you're going to want to talk to this NPC oh, right there. And he will show some text boxes. You simply interact with him, as you can see right there on the map. Um, and interact with the text boxes. At which point he will say, go away. Once you've done this, it's on to the next step. So leaving that location, we're going to have to run across the map to get a relic that is hidden inside a cave. I suggest you run around. If you have a water strider, it makes it a lot easier. Alright, as we reach the location, we are right here on the map, you will see a pathway leading up over the hill. Simply follow that pathway up and over. Mind you, they are elites on this hill, on this island as well, and they do hit relatively hard. As you look, you'll see the cave as you veer left. If this cave entrance is blocked off by rocks, simply pull that NPC and let him kill you and then res inside the cave. Now, looking at the back side of the cave, you'll see some loose dirt. Right-click it to gain the relic. Once you have this weathered relic, now you can start gaining the orbs that you need. There are 10 of them in all, scattered throughout the Broken Isle. You cannot activate the orbs without the relic. Alright, so now that we have our relic, we will have to actually go back to Drake before we can start activating orbs. So, return to the NPC. Alright, once we are back at Drake, we simply right click and go through the text boxes. It's the same as we did before, except for there will be quite a few of them. Once you get to the message where he tells you to go away, then we will be ready to start hunting down orbs. So, see, as you can see, he's telling us to go away. Now we can go to the orbs and start activating them. The first one is going to be in Azerna right there on the map alright so here we are in Azerna at the first orb location if you look to the left of my screen you will see the TomTom -tom coordinates and it's also important to note that when you come across these orbs they should not be glowing anyway looking down inside this bush you will find a secret cave entrance simply run down through the cave entrance but like I was saying, if these glow, these orbs are glowing, you will have to wait 55 minutes 
for them to technically despawn. If they're not glowing, as you can see here, you right click and they will start to glow. That means it's activated. So keep that in mind when you guys are going to get these orbs. Alright, the second orb location is in Stormhelm, just on the outskirts, right there on the map. And as you can see, it's in a cave entrance up on top of the hill. As a demon hunter, I can simply run up over the rocks and double jump to land on the platform. Very easy. Now, you might have to glide in if you are on a different class. As you can see, there's an NPC in here. Yeah, I tried to kill it and it one shot hit me for five million you're not going to be able to, s to kill this NPC the best thing to do to handle this NPC is run in like I did and let her face roll you and then simply res behind her where the orb is as you can see the orb is directly behind her on the back wall of the cave so on your way out you can simply let her face roll you again or just keep running by um, don't try to CC because they're immune to it just basically let her face roll you and then run by um, and release at the back of the cave and then run by again alright orb number three this is a bigger pain in the ass than the last one alright so here we are on the map as you look, you will see by our position that there is a big tree. If you look into this bush, there is actually a cave entrance. Look at that. Alright, as you run down through the cave entrance, you will run to the end and veer left. At which point you will find an elite sitting there waiting to face roll you. And it's pretty tough. He hits extremely hard and is immune to all CCs. So, alright, the best way to do this is rush in to the orb. As you can see, the orb is on the back wall behind the NPC. Pop a defensive cooldown. As soon as you rush in, he will start casting arcane missiles on you. He will hit you three times and they hurt. Pop a defensive cooldown. Wait for him to cast it three times. As soon as he's, he stops casting, right click the orb. In between cast times, you will have enough time to actually activate the orb. Make sure the orb starts to glow just so you've activated it. Alright, number four. We're back at the NPC that we started at. As you can see here on the map look a little closer this achievement you are going to have to run out straight from where the NPC is and you will have to jump on a swimming mount if you have one and swim down you will come to a cliff face as you swim down as you can see right there below it there is an underwater cave you guys like my fish mount? I think it's sexy. If you want to know how to get that mount, um, I also have a guide on that mount as well. As you can see, we swim under the cliff face and back up in, and there is a secret cave underneath. Now, as you enter this cave, you will see that there is um, stuff falling from the ceiling. Do not get hit by it. It will hurt you. As you enter the cave, if you look under this little canopy, the orb is right there on the ground. Alright, crystal number five. We're halfway there, guys. Alright, so here we are on the map, back in Azurna. And if you look, you will see a quest um, NPC to give you a bearing on where you are. And if you look to the left, you will see some crystal formations and a bush. Run in behind it and you will find a cave entrance. Run down through the cave entrance and you will see the orb sitting on the ground. Right click it. 
and make sure it glows. All right, for crystal number six, we are in Stormhelm in the northern part of the map. You will see a broken statue with an axe handle in a hand. This gives you a bearing on where the island is. If you look down, you will see an NPC shark. Simply swim below the shark, and you will find the cave entrance slightly to the left. And there it is. Did you guys see my turtle mount? I love my turtle mount. Anyway, swim through the cavern, and you will come to a cave entrance. Similar to the last underwater cave entrance, as you can see, there is stuff falling. Do not get hit by it. It will literally almost one-shot you. Once you are in the cave entrance, just look for it on the floor there. You've got to time it just right and right-click it. All right, for orb number seven, we are in High Mountain. And once you come off the flight path, run straight across. And you will need a goblin um, glider kit for this one. So when you come to this tree that's kind of leaning halfway across the trail simply veer right and go up this snowy path follow it around the corner until it turns to solid snow you'll see a couple rocks on the left side <clears throat> you'll have to glide down to a cave entrance this one will fool you because it's not actually in the foresaid cave entrance if you look at the cave entrance itself, look right, there are some bushes, run through the bushes and you will find a hidden cave. Once inside the hidden cave, there is a dragon head. Inside the dragon head, you will see the orb. Right click it. Alright, orb number 8. We are back in Azerna, right there on the map. And you can come off the flight path and run right straight down the road till you come to this half-leaning tree. Just before that half-leaning tree, there'll be a tree on the left with a couple bushes around it. Run into these little shrubs, and you will see there is actually a, who would have guessed it, another hidden cave entrance. Run down through this cave entrance and run to the right side of the cave. Along this pillar you will see some ferns and this orb is actually hidden pretty well underneath the ferns and that is number eight. All right, number nine, only two more left. So this one is located in the eye of Azerna, right down here on the southern portion of the map and Looking at the island, you can see two cave entrances. Looking straight down, you can almost see the outline of a sunken ship. Looking off to the right, that gives you your bearing. Also, again, left of the screen is your TomTom -tom coordinates. And I'm going to leave these waypoints in the description so you guys can just copy and paste them. Anyway, swim down until you see the ship swim under the ship and you will have to swim up it's it's not as easy as it looks you swim up over the top of the boat once you're inside and swim to the right side and you'll see a little opening there then go to the left side and you'll see an, another little opening up top once you get through that swim straight down and veer to the left and you will see some seaweed swim through the seaweed and you will come to another underwater cave entrance this cave entrance is actually quite pain in the ass on the way out I did notice that on my way out it did get bugged and I had to um, drown in order to get out as well I saw some other people's bodies there as well that had tried to get out and couldn't anyways once you're inside the cave go to the right side of the cave where this little waterfall is and you will see the orb on the floor 
Alright, are you guys excited? I'm excited. We are on the last orb. We are back where we originally started at Drake. Run up to the back wall and the last orb will be sitting on the table. Once you right click on it, he will then start to talk to you. Imagine that. Anyway, once you right click on the 10th orb, it will open up a world quest on the Eye of Azerna. As you can see, I will be receiving the pet if I do the world quest. Next week the mount will be the quest item. So once you kill the NPC for the world quest, you will get the item that it that it offers. One week, like I said, will be the mount. The next week, the next week will be the pet. Depending on your server. It is a 100% drop rate. As soon as you kill the NPC and complete the quest, the foresaid item will be in your bags. I hope this video helped you guys. I hope you guys got value from it. If you did, please like it, comment if you have any questions, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe. Um, I try to put out high quality content like this as much as possible. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the guide.